Hi, I'm Lisa with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. Occasionally, there are a few misconceptions that pop up related to elk management in Kentucky. One misconception is that Paul Van Boeven and Fish Trap Lake wildlife management areas will be closed to all hunting this year. That's not accurate. While these areas will be closed to elk hunting, they will still remain open and available for deer, turkey, and small game hunting. Last year, the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife Commission proposed devoting three areas to elk viewing. In addition to the two wildlife management areas, an area centered on the future location of the Appalachian Wildlife Center in Bell County is included as part of a two-way agreement with the department. A long-range plan to manage Kentucky's elk herd went through a lengthy public input process before it was finalized and approved in 2016. The 2030 elk plan is viewable on Kentucky Fish and Wildlife's website at fw.ky.gov. The plan illustrates a change in approach from the restoration of an elk herd to management of an established one. Kentucky's elk herd is the largest found east of the Rocky Mountains, and it roams an area larger than Yellowstone National Park. This action supports goals and objectives outlined in the management plan. Elk in the area of the Appalachian Wildlife Center can serve as source herds for future trapping and relocation efforts. Efforts designed to increase populations and hunting opportunities in the targeted areas of the elk zone. They also offer excellent research opportunities for the department. Fish Trap Lake Wildlife Management Area, which is owned by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, was chosen because it had not historically been open to elk hunting. It would not result in a decrease of elk hunting opportunities. Four years ago, this wildlife management area was deemed a restoration area and Kentucky Fish and Wildlife captured elk from around the elk zone and released them on the WMA. This wildlife management area did not have elk on it until the past four or five years. Now a healthy and stable herd resides there. Paul Van Boeven Wildlife Management Area is owned by the University of Kentucky and it was chosen partly because it was originally established as an elk viewing area. It is the only public land with an established elk viewing site. The habitat had grown up on this area and elk use had greatly diminished. In coordination with UK and the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, the department is conducting management projects to improve elk habitat on the wildlife management area. By removing hunting pressure on these areas, it enhances opportunities for the public to safely view these majestic animals in the wild. In the future, all or parts of these wildlife management areas may be open to some elk hunting. Currently, sportsmen and sportswomen have access to more than 750,000 acres for elk and other hunting in East Kentucky through wildlife management areas, hunting access areas and voucher areas, state forest, and federal lands. While this number can fluctuate with a loss of agreements in the creation of new ones, we have seen a steady increase since 2010. Last fall, the department reached hunting access area agreements to open more than 35,000 acres in Floyd, McGoffin, Pike, McCreary, Letcher, and Knott counties for public hunting. The department is always searching for ways to provide more land access for you. Another misconception is that Kentucky loses by paying it forward. State fish and wildlife agencies have a long-standing tradition of working together to restore native species. Kentucky has been a benefactor of such partnerships. Our elk herd originated with the release of seven elk from Kansas in 1997. The restoration effort ultimately saw more than 1,500 elk from six states grow into a herd of more than 10,000. Kentucky has also received wild turkey, river otter, and white-tailed deer through these types of partnerships. On occasion, and because our elk herd is healthy and robust, we pay it forward to help other states, such as Wisconsin. Earlier this year, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife fulfilled a contractual obligation to provide the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources with up to 150 elk over a five-year time frame. As part of the relationship, Wisconsin generously committed to providing funds for habitat improvements in East Kentucky. This habitat work benefits rough grouse, but other species like elk, white-tailed deer, bobwhite quail, cottontail, and Appalachian rabbits benefited as well. We wanted to make sure that you, the sportsmen and sportswomen of Kentucky, are aware of all that we're doing here at the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. We are tasked with an awesome responsibility, conserving and enhancing the Commonwealth's fish and wildlife resources so that you can enjoy them. To learn more about Kentucky's elk program, elk hunting, and quota hunts, 
please visit our website at fw.ky.gov. And as a reminder, if you're interested in applying for a 2019 elk hunt in Kentucky, you have until midnight Eastern time, April 30th. You can apply online at fw.ky.gov or at any local vendors that sell our licenses. Thank you.